On today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at an affordable quartz watch that comes with a tenth of a second chronograph, a date window, and a genuine leather strap. And it only costs $20. Holy sh! Now times are ticking, so let's get stuck in. Hey everyone, happy Monday. I'm Matt Johnson and welcome to my YouTube channel, Beer and Watchers. Now, there are three reasons that I can think of that you would want an affordable watch. A, you want to only spend 20 or 30 dollars but you want a quality watch that looks much more expensive on your wrist and two or was it b you have some more expensive watches but you're looking for a beta watch that's a watch that you can wear at work or in your everyday watch cracking adventures and three like me you're addicted to watch collecting <laughs> And you can't always afford to spend a lot of money to feed your habit and therefore affordable watches scratch that itch. Well, if one of those three scenarios sounds familiar, then this episode is for you. I bring you watch reviews and watch news here on my channel with a focus on little known micro brand watches and affordable watches. So if that sounds like what you're looking for, then welcome to your new home on YouTube. Now when I'm not filming my YouTube videos or editing, I spend a lot of my time every day scouring the internet for affordable watches. And the watch that I'm bringing you today, it's a good one. It's a chronograph watch from Magia Watch. Watches. So without further ado, let's swing this camera around and let's get into the full review. I've got my trusty calipers, I've got my case back removal tool, and I've got my little spyglass just in case we can get inside and take a look at the movement. I've also got my beer for today. We're going to be cracking this in a little bit, but before we get to that, the watch I'm wearing on my wrist today is my Sunobi Swirl Watch. Very cool watch, cheap as chips, affordable, and uh, just a fun little watch to wear. And no Nobody else can tell the time on it, which is really cool. Um, I did a review of this watch. If you want to check that review out, I'll put a link in the description below this video. Now, here's another affordable watch. This is not the only Magia watch I've reviewed on my channel. I also reviewed the Magia Drum Roller watch. Again, another affordable option from them. And again, I'll put the link to that uh, review in the description below this video. This watch that you're about to see, it cost me $20 US on AliExpress, which is about 25 Canadian, 16 euros, or just under 15 pounds. Now you can also get it on Amazon, uh, delivered free by Prime. Now if you order it on AliExpress, it's gonna take you, well, you know, three to four weeks, something like that. I always say with AliExpress, just order it and forget it. But if you wanna get it quicker and are willing to pay that little bit extra, then you can go on Amazon, I'll put the links to both in the description below this video and you can get this for $32.99 US which is about 42 Canadian 27 euros or 24 pounds. True to my word you can get this for $20 US on AliExpress. Now the Magia watches well the boxes are nothing fancy but let's be honest if you're buying a watch for 20 bucks US I don't think you're expecting anything too fancy. It comes in the black cardboard it's got the foil Magia logo on the front will open Open this up and inside we get the obligatory instructions which do not seem to uh, work for any watch that I've ever been sent from Magia. I'm going to show you how to work this watch now so if you do purchase one of these watches then you can always come back to this video and uh, I'll teach you how to use it. One thing I like about Magia watches is they're always well packaged with the foam that makes sure it arrives to you in good condition. It comes in this blue leather band and dial that I've got here. It also comes in a blue band with a silver dial, a black band with a black dial, and a blue band and dial with a gold case as opposed to the silver case. $20 US and it comes with some pretty cool features. It's a quartz watch, it's got a one tenth of a second chronograph, there's the tenth of a second dial, there's the second dial, and there is the minutes dial. It also comes with a date window between the four and five o'clock position, and it comes with this. This is, as it says right there, a 24 millimeter genuine leather
leather band. It's got white stitching, it's a blue uh, kind of faux crocodile, but it is leather, and it's got the Magia padding in there as well. Magia um, logo stamped on the tan buckle there, and one thing that I love about the Magia watches is they always put really good, solid, hefty tang buckles on there, so I'm super impressed, especially at this price point. A couple of keepers on there, one fixed in place and one movable. I've got a seven and a half inch wrist, and I would say this goes anywhere from about an eight and a half inch wrist all the way down to whatever size that is, but it's pretty gosh darn small. As for the build of this, it's got a stainless steel uh, press down case back, but the actual case itself is actually a zinc alloy. Now zinc alloy cases are obviously cheaper, they're plated or sprayed with an anti-rust coating as this is, so it is metal. Basically with zinc alloy, it is eventually gonna discolor and it could peel. You could have some surface inconsistencies. They always look beautiful, brand new. The reason it's got a stainless steel back is because this won't react with the skin. Rest of the watch, it will react with the skin. So just make sure that you give it a good clean every time you take it off after you finish wearing it. Just give it a wipe down and uh, you should be good for a while. And let's be honest, at 20 bucks, when the battery runs out in about two or three years, hey, it's just as easy to throw the watch away and get a brand new one. Couple of specs on this that I wanna tell you about. First of all, it's a quartz movement. Now this is not a Miyota, which you might be tricked into thinking it is because of the chronograph set on the dial. Actually, what this is, is a Sunon PE90, which is also the PE903. It's a Chinese quartz movement. It has no jewels. Sunon was founded in 2004. They make about 2 million movements a year. Okay, so I hope you're enjoying the review so far, but it's time for a beer break because after all, it wouldn't be beer and watches without the beer. It would just be watches and that wouldn't be as catchy a title. This one comes from the Brasserie de de Seal. I swear I butcher that every time I say it. And they're located in Quebec, Canada. They are a true micro brand brewery and you can tell because this is not printed on the can, it's actually a paper label. Always a big giveaway. Now this beer is made with flour. Flour? <laughs> Now this beer is brewed with the standard stuff that you find in beer, but its secret is in the fact that it's also got hibiscus flowers in there and it's unfiltered. So I would expect this wheat beer to have a cloudy consistency. Well, we're not gonna know that if we keep it in the can, so let's crack it and stack it. Always remember to turn your glass to a 45 degree angle, pour the first two thirds of the beer, ooh, it's pink. Wow, that's weird. Tilt your glass back up and pour the last third more vigorously to get a good head on your beer. Well, that worked out okay, I guess. The rose tint in this actually comes from the hibiscus flowers. Oh, by the way, did I mention that hibiscus is also known as the Rose of Sharon? Sharon? I guess that might be Sharon on the can. Now on the back of the can, it says that this beer is a strong beer. I don't know if that means in taste or in alcohol content. It's 5.9% alcohol volume. Let's give it a sniff floral aroma, but then again, that's expected because it's got hibiscus flowers in there. There's a hint of a grapefruit aroma in there as well. Now, hibiscus is known to have healing properties because it's high in vitamin C. If the beer's high in vitamin C, it's got to be good for me, right? So cheers, here's to the week. Let's give it a taste. Wow. It's got that kind of tartness of a brand new, freshly cut grapefruit. Doesn't taste like 5.9% strong beer at all. This stuff is dangerous. Well, if you want to check it out in their other eclectic line of beers, you can check them out at du du seal, du du seal, I think that's it, dot com. I'll also put that link in the description below this video. It's the Rosé Hibiscus Flower Wheat Beer. This is good to about plus or minus 30 seconds a month, which you're always going to get with a quartz watch. Always much more accurate timekeeping than an automatic or a mechanical watch. The water resistance on this is three bars, 30 meters, 100 feet. That's not actual water resistance because it is a push-pull crown, not a screw-down crown. So it's going to be good for, you know, washing the dishes, washing the car, 
possibly a shower, but I wouldn't take it swimming or anything like that. Now, as far as the measurements on this go, let's take a little look. First of all, the case diameter on this is coming in at 39.3 millimeters. The case thickness is coming in at 12.2 millimeters. The strap bandwidth is 23.6. Uh, it does taper up there to the lug, so I would say that's probably a 24 millimeter band, and in fact, it does say that on the strap and as far as the lug to lug on this goes we are talking a healthy 47 millimeters but because of the rectangular case it does wear quite nicely and small on the wrist now as for the loom on this it's got loom applied just to the hands that is not the second hand it is just the hour a minute hand we can take a look at the loom right now okay there's the loom on this watch now while this watch packs a punch in a lot of features for 20 bucks it's certainly not in the loom category the glass on this is a slightly curved hardlex crystal also known as mineral crystal now the way they make hardlex crystal is by heating the glass and chemically treating just regular glass to make it more scratch and shatter resistant it's not as hard or scratch resistant as sapphire but hardlex crystal is certainly going to do a good job now as far as the uh, setting of this goes there are three buttons on the right hand side of the watch the first one here the crown if you pull it out one time and and then turn it clockwise you can see that sets the date and those click in really really well actually I'm quite impressed for the $20 price point you pull it out again and then you can set the hour on that now here the two pushers they are for the chronograph dials and I'm going to show you how they work and I am actually very impressed with how accurate and on point the chronograph dials are so the first button here is going to start the chronograph and then pressing it again will stop the chronograph and this button will reset the chronograph now the top dial here of the chronograph is the tenths of a second dial the bottom dial here is the second dial and the dial here at the nine o'clock position is the minutes dial now if i press this top button this dial is going to rotate one full rotation of the top dial there at the 12 o'clock position counts for two seconds once it does a full rotation you will see the second dial down here advance so i'll press that you can see that going round. you can also see the dial here advancing on the seconds position the minute hand hasn't advanced yet but once this makes a full rotation this will then advance for one minute now if i press this again it will stop the uh, tenths of a second dial and as you can see it's very very accurate i'm very impressed with that at a 20 dollar price point i have got absolutely no complaints on that at all again when i press this one it resets everything back to normal everything points up to the 12 o'clock position everything's in line very very impressive now around the chapter ring around the edge we've got the seconds and tenths of a second increment we've got the magia logo at the three o'clock position a red second hand which shows up really well against that blue dial and also the hour and minute hands um, show up really nicely against that blue dial as well we've got applied hour markers in silver all the way around everything on this is very very nicely finished again for 20 bucks i absolutely can't believe it now if the chronograph hands on this should go out of line you can actually do a realignment of them as well all you have to do is pull the crown all the way out now if you watch the second hand when I pull the crown all the way out the second hand does stop which means that this watch also has a hacking feature that means that you can set it for more precise time setting now once the crown's pulled all the way out if I press the top button here it will advance that tenth of a second dial one increment at a time as you can see this is so that if that dial is off at any point we can do this to reset it at the 12 o'clock position now if i want that to go a little faster i just press and hold this and it will go around a little faster until i let go uh, as near as i can to 12 and then just advance it on to the 12 o'clock position the same goes for the uh, second dial down here we can advance that with the bottom pusher we just hold that in that goes around, we stop it. Oh, well, that was good, nailed it. 
Now, as you can see, this one is now off. Now, in order to reset that one, what we'd have to do is press and hold this bottom pusher and just hold that and have that advance all the way around. You can see the dial there at the nine o'clock position is now advancing. It takes a little bit of time, but once that advances all the way around to the 60 second mark, we would then let go and then all our hands on all of the three chronograph dials would be set. The watch battery on this is an SR920W, which is essentially a 371 watch cell battery. Again, good for about two or three years of battery life. Now let's flip this over. As you can see there, stainless steel press down case back, Magia logo. We're gonna pop this off and take a quick look at the movement inside. So we get my watch case back removal tool. This comes in my watch repair kit, which I got on AliExpress. If if you want a watch repair kit I'll put a link in the description below where you can pick one up on Amazon for a really really good price and uh, you should take advantage of that because then you have a whole bunch of tools like all of these kind of tools that are going to help you if you want to change batteries or do little repairs to your watches all right let's pop the back off this bad boy there's a snap we want to hear and we'll remove the case back and uh, as you can see there around the edge we have the black rubber seal for water resistance and there is the movement inside. Everything is very clean in the back of there. I like to see that. Let's get the spyglass here and take a little look if I can at some of the features on the back. SR920SW as I mentioned on the battery move up here and as I said we've got a PE90 model with no jewels it says right there and right there is the Sunon logo now one thing I really love about this case back unlike round push down case backs this one being square makes it easy to get back on with just your fingers all you do is place the case back over the back of the watch and then push down on one side you hear a click push down on the other side you hear a click and that case back is now back on the watch. That's almost impossible to do with a round watch unless you have a case back press. So all in all, I would say that this offering from Magia Watches for only $20 US offers incredible value. I hope you enjoyed this review and I hope you found it useful. Again, I'll put links in the description below this video to where you can get this on both AliExpress and if you want it a little faster, where you can get it for a little more money on Amazon too. Now before you go, as always, please do subscribe to my channel. You can click down there to the bottom right of the screen or below this video if you're on your mobile device. It's completely free to subscribe and you can unsubscribe at any time. Also, make sure you hit the bell button. That will notify you every time I release a new review here on my channel, which is every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And finally, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. That means the world to me and helps my channel more than you will know. And also leave a comment in the comment section below. I'd love to know what you thought of the beer, what you thought of the watch. And um, by the way, I'd love to know what you did on the weekend. Anything fun? Did you buy a watch? Did you drink some good beer? Let me know. Well, that's it for now, guys. I'll look forward to seeing you again on Wednesday for another episode. By the way, if you are new to my channel right there on my TV, then make sure you check out some of my other videos. One that I like is this one right here. And also don't forget to click on the Beer and Watches logo right there to subscribe. I'm Matt Johnson. Take care. We'll see you Wednesday and bye for now.